God, it's cold, it's wet, it's raining. Welcome to Fallout 4. We are going to do the Eddie Winters quest. We promised Nick Valentine this for quite some time. I've got a few of the um, holotapes already. So we're going to go to Diamond City, drop Piper off and pick up uh, Nick so we can finally do this quest we promised him to do ages ago. While we're traveling there, we've got some tapes. The Eddie Winters tapes. I think I've got three so far. One I picked up in the last episode by mistake, so this is... Message to Johnny Montrano. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. You fat, lazy piece of shit. Sounds like... I knew. I knew this arrangement was too good to be true. Let's join forces with the North End, huh? Bury the hatchet? Work mutually against the common enemy? Well, you put the nail in that coffin, huh, boyo? What did you have to do, Johnny? Huh? What was your job? Sit in your car, on the corner. Keep your eyes open. If you see a uniform, you get out. Walk down the street, knock on the door, and let the fellas know there's trouble coming. Easy as pie, right? I could have got a nine-year-old from the projects to do it, but no. In the interest of Irish-Italian relations, I give the job to you. So what happens? Nothing. Nothing happens. You sit on your fat ass dribbling cannoli cream onto your third chin. You watch. You watch the uniform blow months of planning. All in two minutes. Congratulations, Johnny. You got me. You and your pal sure put the screws to old Eddie Winter. You should tell this funny story to your little girl when you tuck her in at night. In that corner bedroom, upstairs, pink wallpaper, little house on Prince Street. <laughs> Jesus, creepy. Eddie Winter, signing off. Well, Eddie's really out for revenge. Okay, we played the second tape as we're in the air. Going up. Going up. Uh, where are we going? All the way to Diamond City. Long ride, so. Right, okay, fine, we'll um, go as close as possible then. <laughs> there you go. Glad to be here. Eddie Winter sounds like... Good shooting Good. Eddie Winter sounds like Danny DeVito. So we'll see other one. Uh, got take two. Message to Robert Cooper. You did good, Bobby. The wife and girl won't be saying anything. No worries. A gun. Hell, once those fat life insurance checks start rolling in, <laughs> Mrs. Montrano will wish her fat slob of a husband had eaten that bullet five years ago. As for what happens next, up to you. Beach, sub shop, car yard, it doesn't matter where he ends up, I don't give a shit. I just want him in the ground. So, well. as long as Johnny Sr. never finds out what happened to his little meatball, we're set. Eddie Winter, signing off. Jesus, this guy sounds like a murderer. Like a serious murderer, you know? Third and last tape. We have the moment. Robert Cooper. Bobby, we discussed this. You hooking up with your stepsister is your own friggin' business. But you talk in your sleep. Look, maybe you babble about baseball or sing show tunes. Or, could be you chat about those three bodies Colin O'Malley dumped in the sand trap of Arlington Greens. You want to take that chance? I know I don't. Sorry, Robert. The girl's got to go. Eddie Winter, signing off. What's awesome. Okay, slightly bugged at the moment. Hang on, let's see if we can... No, no, can't. let's fix it. So, hmm. This is going to be an interesting quest. We're going to pick up Nick, like I said, as a temporary companion. Well, we're going to do that at some point. That ship. Yeah, well, um. Send Piper to Hangman's Alley, so uh, we'll pick him up next episode, assuming this episode doesn't go on too long and I have to end up cutting it in half. It should be interesting. 
Diamond City is this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be strange seeing Nick after all this time. It's been quite a while. I don't often change companions because... I love Piper. Hey. She's my bird. I did. Still sitting here. Easy life, isn't it? Hello. Plenty of shops inside the city if you need to trade. Cheers, mate. Okay, Nicky boy. Okay. Oh man, I must stop doing drugs. <laughs> For a moment, everything will look really strange. Now, Nick is in his little office, I assume. Yeah, actually found it first time. Don't be caught dead. <laughs> Protection from Commonwealth weaponry. Shut up, Nicky boy. Hey, he's here. Hi, babe. You know, I always got the sense Earl was interested in me. Figures he'd be the one to run off. Hey, we need to find Earl as well. Oh God, we got lots of work to do for Nick. How Hi, Nick. Going on the hunt for Eddie's tapes. <laughs> Should I say what tapes? Still searching. Still searching for them. Uh, just let me know when you manage to get your hands on them. Well, I've got three so far. Come hey, on, Hey, Valentine. Let's go. Time to hit the road again. Yeah. Get back to the hunt for Eddie Winter. Uh, he's really pushing it. <laughs> Set out. out. Well, all right. So, any stories you two come across out there? I get the exclusive, right? Piper, I wouldn't know who else to tell. I'll send Piper to Hangman's Alley, because that's around the corner. Is it here? No. First one, isn't it? Come on, Nicky boy. Okay, set out. While I'm here. Oh, bye, Piper. Yeah, I was saying, while I'm here. Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. I'm gonna miss her. I'll be back for you, babe. I'll be back. I'm gonna get some scars. Because this is like what the 81st mission now? Uh, episode. Don't walk outside the wall undefended. I and I think are you Hey, you do hairstyles. I want to do surgery. There's prescription drugs. Which one's the surgeon? This one, isn't it? Yeah. Can you actually hey, do doc. surgery? Let's get you examined right away. Because I've been blown up so many times. No, no, it's not, not interested. Very well. There is a place where you can get surgery, isn't it? It's not the hairstylist. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's. Ew, same gun on here. There's an awful lot of blood leading into the surgery center basement. Should try and find a way down there. Oh, is this the. Uh, oh. Earl Sterling has died and he's been murdered by this guy. Hey, Doc. Doc don't dally. If you're here to be examined, let's get you examined. What's the blood on the floor? Care to explain all this blood leading to the cellar? Yeah. Dr. Crocker must have tracked some fluids when he went down into the cellar. He's sometimes not as fastidious as I am between surgeries. Here, the cellar key. Go check for yourself. I'm sure you'll find there's nothing going on here besides medicine. Okay, I'm gonna check this out. There's Nikki's an investigator. He said I could do it. Oh, Earl. You've, you've really been a handful, you know. Oh but my I God. think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. 
You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. Wait. Can I talk to you? Sarcasm. Yeah, you fixed things, all right. Fixed yourself some time in the Diamond City jail cell. Jail cell? <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Doc Crocker isn't going to jail. He's going to go back to his surgery, where people love him. And they love him because Doc Crocker never loses patience. He just makes people happy. You're under arrest. You killed a man, Doctor. You're going to pay for it. Put the gun down and come with me. And let's not do anything rash. Uh, I... I did it. Didn't I? I killed a man. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> well, there's so much blood. You're nuts. So much blood all over me. I can fix anything. Is he gonna ki kill himself? What's going on here? Is, is that uh, Dr. Crocker? Yeah. He's slightly dead. Looks like it'll be a closed casket funeral. What happened here? Now be honest. Doc Crocker killed Earl Sterling. I found out, and then he killed himself. Guess he couldn't handle the guilt. Dr. Crocker killed Earl? The, the facial yeah. reconstruction? So he really did go through with it. That explains a lot more than I'm comfortable with. Dr. Crocker always cared about his reputation, but this, this is inhuman. So what now? Yeah. What are you going to do now, Doctor? Now? Now I have a report to file, a mess to clean up, and a lot of explanations to give to our patients. You should get going. A medical professional should be the one to handle all this contamination. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to get a surgery after all. <laughs> I'll take his house key. I'm going to take his uh, wallet as well. Oh, well, Nick. A few minutes together and we've already um, sorted out the Earl Sterling case. <laughs> Can I take your stuff? Oh, I can't take your stuff. Okay, let's go. Actually, according to the mission, we need to let Ellie know what happened. Okay, we'll finish this off while we're here. I think Ellie works for Nick Valentine, doesn't she? I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. You go around to the right here. Shut up! Oh, he did. <laughs> That's awesome. Damn it. Well, this is going pretty good, isn't it? Wow, we've already got one investigation done. Yeah. So, you two find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Yep. I'm not going to say chopped to bits, that's pretty gross, isn't it? Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Yeah. Not as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the Doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. A little bit on the dead side. He killed himself. Crocker killed himself. He couldn't take the guilt. Goodness. I'm sorry you two had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout in know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. You're welcome. Ah. Nick, we're a hell of a team. Let's go down to the dugout and see what happens. Hello? Thank you for finding Earl's killer. Can't believe the doctor would do such a thing. Well, uh, at least we have liquor to drown our sorrows. Yeah. Staying out of trouble. Staying out of trouble. <laughs> you are checking up on me. I love it. But do not worry. 
I have cut ties with anyone who might try to kill me over debts. All is well, friend. Relax. <sighs> I've got a few minutes to browse. Music to my ears. What we got? What we got? Can I sell you some stuff? Hey. What's up? Have we done the... Is that oh, hey, the end of it? Nick. Someone missing? Always. I think that's the end of the quest, isn't it? This is your other brother. I'm glad you found Earl's killer, but now my brother won't shut up about you. Anyway, do you need a room? So yeah, we better save the game. Fine. Here's your caps. Room two is yours. Enjoy. Right, let's try and find Earl Sterling's house, shall we? Oh, you. Uh, the cellar has been sanitized. Ownership huh. of the surgery has reverted to me. I hope you'll give us another chance. Can I get surgery from you now? So what kind of treatments are common around here? Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. Um, is that it? I need some supplies, Doctor. All right, but go easy on the chems. Hmm. Well, he didn't seem to have the option to do hey, surgery. Huh? Good for yeah. You. Nikki's good people. Ah, you know what I mean. I know what you mean. I think this is actually Earl Stolian's house, isn't it? We found it. We found it. Earl, you may be dead, but I'm going to take your stuff. Stim backs, antibiotics. Hi, Nicky boy. Don't mind me. I'm stealing everything. Don't mind me. Oh, what does this guy have? Six. Bobby pin. Yeah, you never know. Frag grenade. Yeah, lovely. Loads of beer. I need to get some sleep before I leave. You don't get that much chance to uh, save the game. Surgery. This is what I want. Procedure to perform your clearance, final installment payment. Folder here as well. No accounting for taste. So that's supposed to me. Okay, let's get some sleep. Let's go see if that we can use that receipt for the dock. He, he must be able to get his facial surgery. Surely. Can I move? Thank you. Come on, Nick. Let's hit the road. Probably missed a safe or something back there, didn't I? Usually. Hey. This way. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we are. Hi, dude. Who are you? Yeah. Duck. It's going in. It's such a surgery centre, didn't it? Surgery centre. Radiation poisoning is a common ailment. But we can cure just about anything. Ah, appearance. Actually, yes. I was hoping you could do facial surgery. Uh, I suppose with Dr. Crocker deceased, someone needs to accommodate the less medically important procedures. Sit down in the chair and we'll get started. Is this a one-off? If this is one-off, then I might have to age myself because I've been... In game for too long. Long seat. <laughs> okay. You want to see here? A wide variety of medical treatments. I Can need I? a new face, Doc. Get in the chair, right over there. This one? Oh, this one covered in blood. 
God, this is going to be like the joke from uh, the original 1989 Batman film, isn't it? Oh no, I don't want that, I want extras. Okay. Done. We offer a wide variety of medical treatments. There you go. Little bit better. Now he looks a little bit like he's been uh, in the wasteland for quite some time now. I'm going to see if I can get some grey in my hair. Do they do hair dye? Can we have a hair cut? Or do they do head, keep hair dye? Right. Where's the uh, barber? There he is. Snip snip and bam, you're beautiful. Ah, oh, beautiful. What are my options? You name it. Shaves, long cuts, short cuts, braids, layering. Eh, be easier just to show you. Got an empty chair right here. Ah. That'd be great. All right, take a seat. Alrighty. That's a nice safe you got there. I might have to pick that. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Haircuts, right here. There you go. Now he doesn't look so youthful anymore. He looked like he's late thirties, early forties, any before probably. Mid late thirties. Now he looks more fucked. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do the rest of the Eddie Winters tapes. Wherever they are. Here we go. Long time coming. Come on, Nick. Let's go, go, go. Put it away. Put the gun away, kid. Okay, where's the closest Eddie Winters tape? Oh, Jesus Christ, there's one there. There's one there. We've been here. That's probably been pacified. Doesn't say clear, though, does it? There's another one here. I haven't been here. There's a lot more here than could go into one episode, isn't there? Oh, there's a police station around the corner. Okay. This one right around behind me. Behind me, okay. We're going to try to get into this police station, then we'll... have to split into multiple episodes, unfortunately. I did. Everything outside the wall ain't safe. No shit. Oh, your god. Okay, clear here. Yeah, we, we can't do a four hour episode because that would be like insane. Dude! Uh, could use some help here. Anybody? Come on. Not him. No, 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 no. Can I can I target the dog? Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Let's do this. What? Oh, now you kill him. Now, That's true. <laughs> oh my god. I thought I could get away with not sneaking because it's all patrolled. Uh, what's that say? Yeah. I know Fallout 4 the episodes are a lot longer than I would like. But it's just the nature of the game, unfortunately. I don't want to split stories into mid mid episodes where are we going? this way okay 
We're only 50 feet away from this one anyway. So we pick this one up. It's dangerous here. I thought, I thought it, was, it was safe because there's a couple of guards walking around. You'd think it'd be safe. Jeez, you can never can tell, can you? Wasteland is bloody dangerous. And you were bloody slow on the draw. Jesus. You're not even human, Nick. You're a robot. You should be able to kill people before. What's that? What's that? Oh, was that that? Okay. See enough of Red Roach. Hello. Goodbye. Ah, I think it's just right here. Oh, so is this just the location for it? I'm going to skim through this. If you want to read it, just hit the pause button. There we go. Oh, it's just literally right here. <laughs> Don't access the computer to be told it's right here. Yum, 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 yum. I don't think we're alone. What was that? What was that? What was that? Was that me? Jesus, really jumpy. Message to Rodrigo Palomar. Okay, my friend. I thought about it, and I've reached a decision on the Fallon's job. Your cut is exactly what you deserve. Zero dollars. Zilch. You heard me right. You get nothing. Yes, you cracked the safe. And yes, we got the diamonds. But you also tripped the alarm. Mackie got pinched, and that's entirely your fault. Now, when he gets out, Mackie's gonna want your head on a platter. I'm gonna give him your share instead. I see you getting off easy. Eddie Winter, signing off. Sir. So, okay, next week we continue this quest. That's four out of ten. So there's... 17 more to go. Okay, so next week. Adios! <laughs> I love taking a piss out of myself. It's great.